Welcome to this World of Tanks subscriber replay. My name, as always, is Maxwell, and this clip comes to us from the user Beyond D. That is Beyond D, and he's driving the T82 T3 American tank destroyer, and that is on a standard battle on the Siegfried line. Now he's pretty much at the bottom of the table, not quite, because there's a couple of tier twos in there. But the top tier is only tier four, so being at the bottom isn't really that big of a deal. And it looks like somebody is already team killing there. T28 was destroyed. Uh, has destroyed somebody else. So <laughs> off to a bad start already. Oh man, just taking up a camping position on this central area. It's not very often I see a standard battle on Siegfried line anymore. It's normally a, an encounter battle from uh, now that that has been added. So it's been a while since I've seen a standard battle. So this one should be interesting. I said, just taking a good camping spot in the central area of this town, trying to stop anybody. Cause a lot of times you'll find a heavy tank or a couple of mediums or even a tank destroyer will try and come up that side there and take a sniping position so they can look directly up the centre of the town about halfway. So just trying to cover off that area there. Unfortunately, it looks like nobody is really coming here. And you can spot on his mini map that there is a light tank coming around that looks there. Although he's taken a different route, so he's going to try and get around behind him and get a shot on this Lux. Can he get his reticule on? Yes, yes he can. <laughs> so, managing to take him out eventually after bumping over all those rocks. That's the only problem there, is trying to actually get a shot on them. Oh, that M2 medium tank is in serious trouble. Not backing off anywhere near enough and leaving himself exposed through those archways there. You need to be mindful that you still can be shot through those archways. So just spinning around to try and assist this uh, this B1 against the M3 Lee. And able to take out the M3 Lee, no problem. So it looks like there's three more tanks coming in though. Driving into Death Alley. Able to take out the B1's tracks there, so his allies should be able to lay some damage on him, no problem. Well, it looks like they have left the kill for our man here. So able to pick that one up without any kind of reply. So let's see if they are going to back out now. They probably should back out as they've had two tanks blown up already in this alleyway. No, and the MX-40 starting to move in and try and support. Although they've managed to take out the B1 now, so it may not be such a bad idea trying to push up through that uh, through that street there. Unfortunately, it looks like the corpses of their allies are littering the street and blocking their path. So it looks like the nope. I was going to say it looks like they've abandoned that street, but no, they haven't. As the uh, the Panzer 38T decides to poke his head out and then get it blown in. T28 coming round now. Let's see if he can achieve anything. No, he can't at all, and gets blown to pieces as well. So the enemy really committing to this meat grinder here in this street really committing to having all of their tanks blown up on one big fatal push uh, so you've got to you've got to applaud their commitment there but as you can see he's getting chased by a Marder 2 at the moment so just trying to evade him and catch up with this M2 that he damaged earlier and there we go able to take him out so again we'll just switch to free camera you can see that Marder 2 is still chasing him so he's still trying to give him the slip and Fantastic, able to give him the slip there and get away from this Marder. And then he's going to try and come around through the middle here. And catch him unawares. So brilliant shot there. Managed to give the Marder the run around around a couple of buildings. And then come around on his own flank and take him out. This M3 Stewart, I don't think he's noticed our man here. So he's probably... Ah, gets blown up anyway. So it didn't really matter there. So how are the scores looking? 10-9. Although our guy's on a bit of a rampage, it's still fairly even. The enemy's got three artillery and is that a B1? An AMX-38. So three artillery and an AMX-38 where this team has two artillery, two tank destroyers and that M2 medium tank. 
So just advancing up now and acting as a scout for his own artillery, trying to find the enemy's SPGs camped somewhere in the trees around the back of the base. So spots out one there, not even bothering to have a shot on him because he knows that he'll have been spotted himself and if he stops for too long, he's going to be taken out. So just trusting that his allies and his own artillery should be able to take out that SPG without his help. And there you go, the Panzer II takes, Strum Panzer II takes out the BS there. So trusting in his allies to be able to take him out as he drives past and his allies being able to deliver on that. Now the light tank is moving in on their artillery on the centre of the map there, so we're going to see if the M2 medium tank can hopefully swing around and take him out, or if the artillery is going to be able to defend himself. So there's no way he's going to be able to get back and defend his own artillery, so just going to hunt out the enemy's last remaining artillery piece and spot him there, the Lorraine camped behind the bunkers. So same thing with the Marder 2, just going to try and give him the runaround and hope that he's not going to be able to get a shot on him while his own artillery is able to take him out. Although that light tank is still alive, although it looks like the M2 medium has moved in for the kill now. So finds the Lorraine, and the Lorraine is just pointed directly at where he would have to come out. And there's no way he's going to be able to get a shot on him, because he's going to have to move out into the open and then turn to get a shot himself. So he's absolutely not going to do that. He's just going to sit there and wait for his allies to take him out. And as you see there, the SU-85B able to take him out. So absolutely brilliant clip from Beyond D there. Eight kills going on an absolute rampage in the middle of the town there, and giving the run around to a couple of tanks. So thanks very much to you for sending that clip in and thanks very much to you guys for watching and I will catch you next time.